Now, did you ever want a magic set as a child? Maybe fancy yourself as a bit of a conjurer? Absolutely. Yeah, you still do, I think. <laughs> well, teachers in South Tyneside had something special up their sleeves for pupils today. It's a pen. Stop showing off. Yes, St. <laughs> Alicia's Junior School in Heaven was something of a Harry Potter training ground this morning as the International Magic Festival got underway. Over the next few days, magicians from around the world will be divulging a few secrets, starting with the basics to impress friends. We sent Helen Pearson along to see if she could learn a few new tricks. Who says Hogwarts are the stuff of storybooks? Because I smell hocus pocus. Take a handkerchief, push it into your hand. Youngsters, they're always taught to say the magic word. How very important that lesson was today. Watch. Abracadabra. Disappear. Now you see it, now you don't. Believe me, no camera trickery here. I thought it was like really interesting and stuff, and it was like different. I like magic, but I couldn't be a magician. Tom, Rebecca, show me how it's done. Into my hands. Oh. <laughs> Let's see that again. Oh no! <laughs> hmm, think I'm more Debbie McGee than Paul Daniels. I think it's the fun element of it, uh, the creativity, the um, anticipation of what's going to happen. Um, and as you could feel that, uh, today in the hall, the buzz of excitement was, um, was absolutely fantastic. What makes a good magician? You've got to be able to communicate. And that's the good thing about teaching kids how to do magic, because it helps with their social skills and it gives them confidence. And it's good fun. Right, hanky in, thumb, point. Do you know what? There's just no teaching, some of us. Back to the day job. <laughs> Very she good. Did learn something. Then. Aloysius School. I like that. Not a lot, but I liked it. Ask your mum and dad, they'll explain. What are you doing there? It's a load of rubbish. Carry on. <laughs> As if by magic, here's John with the weather.